Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to a new video today. We're going to be looking at the Silver Camp Scottier Bank squad, which is the Chilean League. Uh, we did the bronze one earlier last week. So let's go in and have a look at the team that we built. So as you can see, there's uh, four informs in this team and we're starting off in goal with Herrera as an inform as well. I did buy this team before the price caps um, and then obviously paid the game pay, so I've lost a bit on this team already. I've already looked at some of the prices. But it was a decent keeper, definitely not worth 67,000 coins, but I thought I'd get an inform um, for the team. So good stats on that card as well. And then going on to the right back, we have Fierro. Um, nice still for 300 coins, got decent pace and very good all-round stats for a right back. And he's got a four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, which is also very nice. And then moving on to the first centre back, we have Rojas and um, 75 pace, 71 rated overall and some decent stats on the defending and physical side there. Three star weak foot and three star skill moves for a centre back which is also nice and left footed. And then we've got Vidal as a second centre back, um, 74 pace on him, 70 defending and 77 physical. Four star weak foot as well which is really nice for centre back so some decent skill levels on this team for weak foot and skill moves. And then the second in form we've got Bosa Jaw, we've seen him a lot um, playing over in England as well. Um, only two star weak foot and two star skill moves but he's got some good pace, strength and uh, dribbling defending skills there and passing really just a really nice card actually. Um, 31k paid for him and then the first central midfielder of the CDM we've got Lille um, 70 pace which is nice for a CDM we keep saying nice for pace but honestly his team was very well, well built all around um, 74 passing, 72 dribbling and 70 defending as well then moving on to the right wing of third in form of the team we got Leonardo Valencia um, 4 star skill moves on him 84 pace, some good dribbling and uh, Passing's okay as well on there, quite a decent card, one goal and two assists. And then left midfielder Gonzalez, he did have an inform, I wasn't able to get hold of that, it was far too expensive uh, for what it was, so I picked up his original card for only 550 coins. 84 pace, 78 shooting, 74 dribble, 72 pass, just great stats on that card. 4 star skill moves as well, and a goal and two assists for him as well. And then moving on to the cam, definitely the best player of the squad is Viejo. And um, yeah, non red card, picked him up for 900 coins. His stats are really, really good overall, um, especially for a non red card as well. And uh, three star weak foot and three star skill moves, some great goals from him that you'll see later in the video. Eight goals and three assists. And then moving on to the two strikers, uh, this guy probably the biggest letdown of the team. I hate to be. Um, a bit depressed about it all, but he was just terrible for an inform. Uh, Benegas, I picked him because he's an inform, but I wish I picked someone else now. Says 82 pace, but he was so slow. His acceleration was terrible. Um, two star weak foot and three star skill moves. As you can see, stats are okay on the card, not the best. Um, but he did score three goals in 10 games and one assist as well. And then moving on to the final striker, we have Alvaro Ramos. 91 pace, only 69 rated overall, but he was awesome. 72 dribbling and 66 shooting, which was quite poor. Uh, but he got six goals and four assists, and he's got them four star skill moves as well. Uh, and that has been the team. So let's go in and have a look at the goals that we scored with this team. So moving on to the goals now, and this first game that we played was really, really laggy. Uh, Ramos came in and did open the account for the team, a nice finish, just powering it across, and his pace was really good. Um, but it was just getting him into the right position. Sometimes he didn't want to sit on the last centre back. He'd just sort of make random runs. You can see just running everywhere there on the bottom part of the screen. But Vico comes through and scores very laggy, as I said once before there already um, in this game as well. Um, Vico coming through, and this is so laggy. Uh, but I can start to see already. I know, know the uh, clip's very poor there, um, but you can see that his class was starting to show through already. Uh, Benegas here did manage to get a goal. Uh, mostly helped by the keeper there, well off of his line and just able to chip it over the top. Uh, but he wasn't very influential, didn't do enough for me. Uh, Valencia here, the informed right winger, coming through some nice skill um, just to get in and out there and puts a vital equaliser in in that game there. And Vieco now showing how, just how good he was. That was one of his better goals and that's to say the least because he was awesome. That was a great finish from him there into the top corner um, and he picks another one up here just on the strike right across the keeper, hits the both posts and then he manages to walk in and get his own rebound from his own shot which is just crazy. Um, I've never seen the ball hit both posts quite like that in this game so that was quite a, quite a funny one there. And he wraps off there getting a hat trick in that game, just brilliant that Kanza have in the squad. Uh, the defence was very solid in this team, we didn't let in many goals, we just struggled at times to score goals if their club wasn't getting enough of the ball. Um, 
as I said, Ramos was sort of wearing a little bit of his runs. It was just quite strange runs that he was doing. Um, but when he did get in, he was, he was absolutely clinical. Um, but it was just getting him in. Um, Benegas was just slow off the mark. His acceleration was really poor. Sometimes when he got going, it was fine. As you can see, he scores a header there. Quite a nice cushion header into the bottom corner. Valencia coming through here. Great strike across goal on Benegas there. Managing to pick up on the rebound. And he was okay when he got in and around the box. But it, like I said, it was getting into them two strikers were just very hard. Um, so I thought it was best to just go with Echo, uh, who was just in and around every attack that we made pretty much. As you can see here, picks the ball up and this is the best goal he scored. What a strike, just so much composure there. Picks up the ball, has a little look up and right into the top corner. And you'll see the replay here. Look at this ball, a little chip through over the top from Ramos. Uh, defender doesn't know what he's doing. Picks up, one, two, whack, straight into the top corner. It just felt comfortable to shoot with this guy. He was so awesome on the ball. Um, picking up on a bit of defensive errors there. Left footed shot as well into the bottom corner. And then Ramos comes through in this game and had a brilliant last game here for us. Um, scoring a nice goal there. And just sort of found his form towards the end of the to the end of the run of games that we played. I mean we had a few that got cancelled out games, but mostly he was okay. Like I said, his runs were just a little bit crazy. Um, but as you can see here, when he gets in behind the defence, absolutely brilliant. Um, so this is gonna finish off now. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Try this squad out. It's not the best silver squad I've bought. Maybe alter a few of the players. Don't pick Ben Eggers, whatever you do, um, because his acceleration is just tragic. Uh, but if you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like, and I'll have more videos out very soon for you. Thanks very much for watching, and bye.